evaluating images and textual information in context. Let's take a look at a news article to better understand how to evaluate images in context. First, it's important to know who wrote the article and who published the article. You want to think critically about authority, expertise, and any potential biases the author or publisher may have. Remember that the publisher and often the author are also choosing the images to accompany their articles. In this example, we see that the SDSU Alumni Association is the publisher. It's published in their online alumni e-newsletter, so we know that the intended audience is alumni of SDSU and the general public as the article is published and freely available online. We know that the author is Roberta Niederjohn, and while her credentials are not listed, if we trust the SDSU Alumni Association to publish quality news pieces, we can safely assume that Roberta has the expertise to write this article. The title of the article is clear, so you know what the story will be about. The header image is a view of the library, so it's connected to the article, and its purpose is to visually represent the campus entity highlighted in the article. The image may also serve as a nostalgic reminder to alumni of how beautiful our campus is. As we read the article, we learn that five young San Diegans, ranging in ages from 12 to 17 years old, were central to bringing together participants for the first Comic-Con conventions. The next image we encounter is a flyer of the very first Comic-Con in San Diego in 1970. The caption clearly explains the image, and the image itself helps us visualize the historic roots of Comic-Con. The next two images also have detailed and clear captions, help us put faces to some of the names mentioned in the article, and give us a glimpse into what those early days of Comic-Con looked like. You'll note that photo credits are included to give the copyright owner proper citation and attribution. Finally, the article includes contact information, which lends more credibility to an article.